Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. For those of you that know me and know me well, there are times where I go way out of the box of Vintage Victorian and Marie Antoinette and choose to go dark. So, with that said, I have created a project which is more like a presentation project. Uh, and what I mean by that is that using items from the three design teams that I'm with, um, by taking the items that they sell and using them as presentations. So, um, with that said, what I had made was... Um, was using product products. I'm sorry, I'm a little tongue twisted tonight. Products from Wild Orchid Crafts, Esmeralda's Twins Moms, and Creative Papers Online. And I'd like to share with you what I had made. And it's just something a little bit different to take me away from something that I'm trying to focus on. So here we go. Okay. Fooled you with that light flowered paper, I bet, huh? In the meantime, what I have made here, and I'm on a tripod, so I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer, and I'm hoping that you can see there the most beautiful uh, black mulberry paper in the background. And what I had done was, and I'm going to take this all apart to show you. I just put this together as a presentation to show you that in the event that you need to take pictures of things that you make, um, you can purchase various different products from various different companies or people's Etsy stores to use for your presentation. You don't really need them also to use in the actual craft product like I've done here. Okay, what I have done was is I took very heavy mulberry papers, okay, and I made custom envelopes from them. When I purchased this paper, my intention was to have a lighter uh, feel to the paper for a different project. And when I received it, I was like, wow, the paper is really gorgeous, but not for what I intended to use it for. So I figured, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some stationery. So I thought that making some really very pretty, uh, sturdy envelopes that look different, which I'll tell you in a minute, uh, intentions that I have using these for, but wanted to share with you how I presented this to you and how I think that many of you can use some of these items uh, in your um, presentations to people online or perhaps um, other professional ways that you want to uh, show your work on your blog or YouTube channel or in a store or if you sell to somebody or if you're a seller and you want to you know um, you want to show your, your what you're selling so um, just getting back to this now what, what I'm going to show you here was these these flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts okay um, these are very beautiful. They were in my last design team package. Okay, these flowers came to me in a very light cream color. Very beautiful. Okay, but what I had done was is I used um, a tutti frutti color from Glimmer Mist, the uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and I painted the flower with a Glimmer Mist. Okay, I don't want to get too close, and to give it more of a chalky kind of dulled out look with a little bit of a two-tone. I uh, dropped drops of Tatted Rose Distress Ink all around the tops of it. So if you look at it, you've got this really um, kind of more like a dried looking flower in person uh, rather than um, an actual paper flower. So that was very pretty. And I had done the same for these flowers as well. And for uh, these were supposed to actually turn out to be pink. And um, I'm guessing from using the Tattered Rose uh, liquid ink and the, um, the Tutti Frutti Glimmer Mist, I wound up with like an off reddish color, which is fine, rose. And I decided to use that in this project with, I love the gothic look for the envelopes. Uh, the darkness of it can be very vintage, can be really romantic and sexy. 
okay? Who doesn't love black? And presenting to you this gorgeous organza material, which is from Esmeralda's Twins Mom's Etsy store. Um, I absolutely adore this. Uh, it comes in a nice piece uh, uh, in the width and length online. I don't have that information for you, but you can check that out on her uh, Etsy shop, and I'll give you that information in the drop-down box below this video. Um, I love the organs. I've made flowers from it already and I've done many other things and I'm just going to dismantle this so that you can see what I've done here and I've also used uh, the flat back pearls um, from uh, Esmeralda's Etsy store as well to give this kind of a drapey and sexy look. I mean who wouldn't love to receive a gorgeous gift like this with beautiful ha uh, handmade paper custom flowers beautiful flat back pearls. I mean look at these pearls. These are beautiful and Esmeralda has great prices on her store. I don't know if you guys have checked her out yet but you should. With the Wild Orca Craft Flowers and you can also uh, you know combine um, the uh, the flowers with some uh, vintage seam binding, perhaps color it black and stamp on it. You know, uh, there's just so many different ideas that you can come up with your own ideas on that. And um, so I'm just going to take off this uh, beautiful flat back trim and the beautiful um, organza material here and share with you uh, these envelopes this material uh, comes in quite a large like 25 by 30 I believe the size is a sheet of this paper and it's absolutely beautiful um, but then again um, you have to really use your imagination as to what you're going to use uh, these very heavy papers for and um, in the end I came up with making these envelopes which I thought were really very cool uh, you do need if you do purchase these papers and you get the heavy weight like this they're gorgeous they make an awesome presentation you cannot use your um, your glue gun you have to use liquid glue to seal this so if you wind up making this for somebody and um, and you're going to put it in the mail, you need to use a plastic clear bag uh, and then put your stamp on that because the stamp will not stick uh, to this paper. It's just absolutely beautiful in its feel and its touch. It's really, and, and you can even reverse it and see how the, the difference looks on, on either side. Uh, one side of the paper is jet jet black and the other side is just black. And um, what I wanted to show you is I'm just going to back away a little bit here. My intention on this is after making these envelopes, now you guys know where I'm going with this, I'm sure. Use your creative mind and run away with yourself like I have on these. And how cool is this to use as a mini, okay? Can you guys see that? I mean like poking uh, two holes here and maybe putting some... Um, some beautiful um, edging on this hair, perhaps um, some heavyweight. Uh, Kathy Orda had done something on a, a heavyweight tape to put on there and decorate that. You could see her videos on YouTube. Okay, and then you know these are pockets, so you can put your standard A2 size cards in here, you know, and and just uh, close them up like this. You know, I wouldn't say this is your front cover, but uh, when you would. Um, you can actually have this side as your front cover if you wanted and then open it and have these pockets here and you can even just close one and have it. So there's a million things that you can do with this or you can just use it as really, really sexy gothic stationery. Um, I, I love that term, the sexiness. I love black. Um, I am a... Um, a vintage person and I do love the browns and the pinks and all of the Victorian lavenders and pale blues and the originality and um, creativity that goes along with that um, but I do like to go into the sexy black and you know again um, if you haven't been to creative papers online they have the most amazing uh, papers I really I just received a shipment the uh, yesterday and the papers are just outstanding I just love creating with them I have some ideas in mind going forward and there's going to be some new and fresh things coming 
Um, I've just been going through a lot of stuff lately, and um, and I've been very busy on top of it. But do check out uh, Twins Moms um, Esmeralda. She's on uh, Facebook, and she's also on YouTube. And I'll give all that information. Um, again, it's the Tutti Frutti um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on here with the uh, Distress Ink Tattered Rose. And those flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I know that this was a different video, but I am currently um, underway on a project and needed to break away from the uh, vintage Victorian. But I do like to share sometimes the deeper things. Uh, I have um, I have some uh, uh, ideas for a possible steampunk with uh, another twist, and I don't want to say ahead of time until I show it, just to make you guys want to come back and check it out. Um, if you have any questions on the envelopes, yes, I did use um, I did use a template. It's from Making Memories. I use it all the time. It's one of those clear acetate uh, templates. I used that to cut it out. It was really simple. I just taped it to the mulberry paper, cut it, and I used um, I used one of these uh, to. Um, make the line so I can uh, fold it gently and it's so funny I had received um, a shipment earlier today if I could find it my room is a total mess um, that I had gotten some other of these kind of things um, and I've never heard of the name before and I was speaking to my friend Jen earlier and I've never heard of the name McGrill or something like that McGrill and um, um, I had gotten some of these little embossing thingies that's made by that name so uh, it'll be helpful down the road because this, this is the only one that I have and it's got a lot of glue on it and it's, I think it's time to let it go to sleep. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for stopping by and I hope that you like the distressed flowers and the beautiful trim and the organza material and the gorgeous papers from Creative Papers Online. There is a coupon for YouTube users. I'll also post that below. There's also a coupon for Esmeralda, so check it out and let me know how you like it. Have a great night. Bye.